Hey YouTube, it's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. Hey, in this video, we're going to download the software that we can use with the Spectrum Avian Firma Smart Electronic Speed Control Program Box. The box comes with a USB cable to plug into your computer and into the program box. It comes with a mail-to-mail -mail servo lead, so you can go from the program box to your smart speed control all I want to do in this video is to show you guys how to download and set up the software so you can use it in your computer and then we're going to check and see if the firmware is up to date inside this box this box also works as a uh, lipo battery checker has all the pins right there and if you don't want to program your speed control from your transmitter or or you can't or you just don't want to then you can take this to the field with you and make all your adjustments from this box and you want to be able to do everything that's uh, available so it needs to be you know caught up to date so let's get to the computer and download and set up the spectrum avian firma electronic speed control programmer box Part number SPMXCA200. This is version one. There's a version two. The version two is more geared towards the Firma side, which is cars for their censored uh, uh, brushless motors. The version two will work for us as well as the car people. You know, it, it'll basically do everything. I think updating this one will do what the version 2 will do. I'm pretty sure about that. But we're just airplane guys, so those car guys, I don't know. Hey, let's get to the, uh, the computer and see what we can uh, figure out. To update the Spectrum ESC programmer box, not the, not, not the ESC electronic speed control, but we're just updating the programmer box. There are many ways to find what you need to find to download, but we're going to start here. This is what we're going to be updating. So we'll just click directly on the program box here as if we were uh, looking to purchase one. And we'll find what we need to download on the page where it talks about this program box. All right, so this is what... We're now on the page if we wanted to buy the program box. I have the version 1. This is the version 2. They're basically about the same. And you scroll down to the bottom. It says PC download. So let's click there. And that should take us to where we need to download the program for the Avian Firma Electronic Speed Control Program Box. And you need this box in order to download updates to your speed control. If your transmitter is updated and your speed control is updated, you can do all the programming of your speed control directly from your transmitter. Okay, so now we're at the, the program box instructions. And you can see down here in the middle it says download the latest Spectrum Smart Link Updater app here. Also, these are the directions, and these are pretty important. I, I skipped over these many times, and then, you know, I wondered why I was flustered, why I couldn't get to work. Well, it's because in, in normal Sean fashion, I don't read the directions. But this download is a little different than others. For you computer people, it's no big deal. For somebody like me that's not a computer person, this is different than other things you download. You're going to be downloading a compressed file so a bunch of information is in something small and then we need to extract the information out of what we're going to download so there's a few more steps involved so we'll click update the or, or we're going to click get the latest spectrum smart link updater here down in the bottom of my computer you can see that that's that is downloading here and i'm just going to click open when done 
so when it's done downloading we'll see something pop up well it didn't open when done so I'll click open get rid of that so this is what this is what you download right here and even though in the blue it says file folder and you don't see any names so there, there is something right there so we need to extract both of these and it'd be best to do them both at the same time so I'm gonna click and draw drag the mouse up where it highlights both of them and then up here top left it says extract two that means we're gonna there's a bunch of info in those two folders we just downloaded and we need to and it's in a compressed folder so we need to extract it open it up basically now here's where it recommends taking things but I'm gonna take it to my desktop and then OK and now it's unpacking extracting unzipping all that stuff and it says do you want to replace what you have I've probably got some old stuff in there but I'm just gonna say yes to all replace it now it should be on my desktop able to open to catch us up to date we have downloaded the spectrum avian esc programmer box from spectrum we downloaded it and then we extracted the files and we saved them to my desktop well now this is my desktop and right here in the middle is the the icon that was saved to my desktop so we can double click on that and pay attention here that brings us to this screen and everything in this list is inside this programmer box okay now you only have to do this once but this is the kind of the I don't know not as much fun part but you're gonna scroll down until you see the spectrum smart logo right down here all right now you click on that two times now you're gonna be in the spectrum programmer you've only got to do this once once this is opened up you can save it down to the bottom like I have right here when you click on that it will take you directly to what we just clicked on this screen won't show up that whole list won't show up you don't have to search for the spectrum logo you know you just you've done this once so as soon as the page opens, then we'll save it down to the task bar. So a little box just popped up saying, do you want this program to, you know, will you allow it to run on your computer? And I wasn't able to capture it for you guys to see, but it was just kind of a warning window in the middle. Had yes or no available to check and check yes. So then it opens up the Spectrum ESC programmer main deal. That this is what you you were after the entire time. This is the screen you use to program the boxes, uh, update boxes, and the speed controls. Now at this point, down at the bottom of your screen, you can see the smart logo. That down at the bottom is you know is, is either what you have. Pin, pinned to use or what is operational at the time I'll show this again in a minute but this is where you can save it to where you don't have to go through this entire list anymore you've gone through the list one time that's it alright got my spectrum avian smart speed control program box got my computer gonna click on the smart logo that I got saved down to the taskbar you got to click yes every time that little warning there or not warning a permission and then I've got my program box with the USB C I believe it is I'm gonna plug that into one side of it and then I'm gonna plug the USB end into the computer once I get it the right way like so it's reading connecting PC 
and then I'm going up to the top to devices the program box and I'm now connected catch us up to date here we have downloaded the the spectrum avian smart ESC programmer box software and we have downloaded it we have extracted the files because they came in a compressed uh, zip folder we've extracted them and saved them to my desktop I've since gone from the desktop I showed you how to find that logo we clicked on the logo and that brings us to this page right here so now I have the program box and I have the USB cable it comes with I'm plugging the box into the cable and you can see that we're connected because down at the bottom it has the option to disconnect well right now we're only going to check the program box so we go up here to devices and it's currently on speed control we're going to go to the program box and we can see if we need to download any uh, more current software versions it shows my LCD program box it shows the hardware version and then the firmware version that's what we were, were talking about upgrading and available versions is the PB 3.2.45 and we currently have 3.2.45 so we don't need to upgrade any firmware it already has the latest and greatest in there so we will exit out last but not least when we downloaded and then extracted the files saved to the desktop and then we opened it we went down through that list of everything that's in the everything that's inside of the program box and we were looking for the smart logo and that's what we clicked on in order to get to the program box well you only have to do that one time once the program box is open at the very bottom of your computer or however your computer set up you'll see what you're using and at that point you can right click the button on your mouse the right one you click it one time on what you're using and you can then save it to your however you want to your to your screen or your taskbar at the bottom or your start menu but you see how mine reads unpinned from the taskbar that's because I've already pinned it to the taskbar so now whenever I want to use the, the spectrum programmer for the AC it will always be down here at the bottom and you just double click on the on the logo and it'll bring up the ESC programmer box oh is it there it is so you only got to go through all that clickety click one time and then you can save it down to your taskbar or you can make an icon in the middle of your screen to click on or you can save it you know down to your start menu there are all kinds of places you can save it to well maybe that helped some of you guys out and uh, you know if any of my videos have helped you out or given you just a little entertainment if you haven't already please subscribe and click the like button and leave me a comment uh, I need some requests I need some ideas so in the comment section ask me for something uh, if, if I know how to do it we'll do a video on it if I don't know how to do it We'll do a video on me telling you that I don't know how to do it. I just need some ideas. I need to find out exactly what you guys are wanting to see. I got a pretty good idea a few weeks ago, and I'm working on that, and, and I can sure use some more. Also, guys, we're really close to 100. We're going to have a drawing coming up when we hit 100 subscribers. It should be any day now. And at 1,000, I'm going to mail this jet to somebody. I sure hope it's pretty soon because the uh, flying season is right around the corner, weather-wise. Hey, guys, thank you so much. And uh, until next time, you'll see me here.